Launched 25 years ago, the Politics for Unity movement continues to challenge politicians to put human rights before personal interests. The initiative was inspired by Kara Lubick, founder of the Focolare movement. Can we live out the gospel in politics? My response, based on my experience, but also on the experience of many others, is that we can. It's a practical way to do politics. Earlier in May, Pope Francis publicly congratulated the movement on their 25th anniversary. Saluto in particolare gli aderenti al movimento politico per l'unità fondato da Chiara Lupic 25 anni fa. Auguri, auguri e buon lavoro al servizio di una buona politica. Good politics means, above all, serving the common good. As the movement's president, Mario Bruno, explains, this requires understanding the needs of the poor. By understanding the needs of the poor, we can provide an answer for everyone. From this understanding emerges a model politician who does not worry about his or her career, but works for the common good. The needs of the poor during the COVID-19 pandemic go beyond food and money. That's why the Politics for Unity movement is preparing to launch an initiative to make COVID-19 vaccines accessible to everyone, with special attention to marginalized populations. In this crisis, which is a social, political, economic and environmental one, I think there is a new ability to take responsibility to care for others by bringing together local and global actions. We've seen now more than ever how local decisions influence the rest of the world, and vice versa, how global decisions impact individual communities. Politics for Unity movement challenges politicians to a more noble form of politics, one that takes seriously the politician's responsibility to represent the people and to serve the common good.